Welcome to this video about how to create a good swing feel. One of the most challenging things to do when you're first learning how to play jazz is how to get a really great swing feel. When we listen to someone like Cannonball Adderley or John Coltrane or any of the jazz greats, you notice that when they play, their swing feel and their time feel is just incredible and it's an essential part of what makes them so fun to listen to. If you take the same notes that they played and played it either with like totally straight eighth notes or with kind of a, a bad swing feel, those solos would sound completely different. It's a completely, uh, swing feel is a completely integral and important part of playing great jazz, whether that's in a big band setting or when you're improvising. So I want to give you a simple exercise to do to help you develop your swing feel, and I'll give you an application for how to use that when um, you're playing scales and when you're improvising. The first thing to do is to understand that a swing feel is based on a triplet, not a dotted eighth sixteenth note or just some kind of random da 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 da. It's actually based on a triplet. So I want you to start and I want you to say this with me. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. What we've done there is we've broken the beat down into triplets. So say that with me. Here we go. Three, four. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. That gives us the basic framework for how to do a swing feel. In order to do a swing feel, basically what you're going to do is take those first two eighth note triplets, push them together, and then leave that third eighth note triplet on its own. The counting for that would be instead of one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, now you do one, a, two, a, three, a, four, a. So you leave out the and in each of those triplets. So now what I want you to do is go back and forth between those two different ways of counting it with the one and a, and then one where you leave out the and in the middle. It goes like this. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one, a, two, a, three, a, four, a. Do that with me now. Three, four. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one, a, two, a, three, a, four, a. So if you practice that, you're going to get a really solid swing feel. Um, the next thing to do is take whatever instrument you happen to be playing, saxophone, guitar, piano, trumpet, whatever it is, and play scales using that rhythm. So if you wanted to play, um, for example, a major scale, you go, so there, instead of playing straight eighth notes, you would play da 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 one a two a three a four a one doing that you can apply that to anything so if you have a big band chart you can take that same exercise and apply it to the big band chart especially uh, when you're improvising this is really really important so if you have a bebop scale a blues scale a major scale a mixolydian scale whatever kind of lick you've learned take this rhythm the one a two a three a four a and apply it. The second important part of this is we're not just changing the rhythm, but we're also changing the accent. So instead of playing something like da 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 da, or even da 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 da, you have to accent all of the upbeats. I'm going to exaggerate it now. So you accent accent all the uhs. One a two a three a four a one. So add the accents, use this new rhythm, and you're going to have yourself a great swing feel. For more information, visit thejazzmethod.com.